Hi everyone, this is a screencast on how you can help your students keep track of the descriptive feedback they receive on math assessments much more easily. This is taking into consideration that you have Doctopus folders already set up, and if you don't, I'll give you some other options of what you can do to still make this work. We'll be using the New Visions Cloud Lab Doc Appender add-on to make this possible. To get started, I'm going into my math folder and in my demo class. And these are the Doctopus folders that I already have set up. I'm going to create a document that's called Ongoing Math Feedback. And that's it. I'm going to actually leave this completely blank. I'm now going to push that blank document to all of my students. I'll call the spreadsheet also ongoing math feedback and I'm going to run the Doctopus script. I'll select my demo class roster and thank you to my lovely friends who have agreed to be in my demo class. I'm going to select individual all the same so they will all have the same blank template but they will not have access to each other's documents. And now that I have this folder selected, I will select the template that's in there that I just created. I'm going to call this folder ongoing math feedback. I'm going to call it last name, first name using these variables. That's great, ongoing math feedback. Create the folder. Folder was created and save and continue and run, copy, and share. So I'm pushing that blank document called Ongoing Math Feedback to each of the students in my demo class. And you'll see in a moment, the file name will fill in right here. And now they all have their files. So I can close this spreadsheet now. And you'll see here in this Ongoing Math Feedback folder, each of my students has a blank document that is just called their name and Ongoing Math Feedback. Now for organization's sake, I'm actually going to rename this spreadsheet, put a one in front of it, and I'm just going to shift it right into this folder. And the reason I put a one in front of it is just pure organization so that it sits at the top of the folder. And I will put rename this and just put template in front of it and I'll add it into that folder and now it's all organized. So now I need to create a math feedback form, which I've already created right here. And I'm just going to add it now into my demo class and I'll show it to you. This form is very basic. It has name and this is empty for a reason. The strands for math, the type of assessment that I will be giving feedback on, which could be a quiz or a test, and the comments that my students will receive. Now the reason this is empty is because I'm going to populate this question using the Doc Appender add-on. I go into add-ons and I have to get the add-on because I don't yet have it. So I go into the add-ons gallery and I search for Doc Appender. Here it is. It's free. It's from the New Visions Cloud Lab. We love them. I'm adding it, it's asking for my permission. Yes, of course, I accept. And now it is working. You see some information right here. I'm going to open the sidebar for Doc Appender. And it's going to ask me to pick the target folder that will contain all of the docs that I will be sending my comments to. So I'm gonna pick it from the drive because we've already created them. Now the folder is right here ongoing math feedback. I'm selecting that folder and I'm clicking next. Now I have to select the question that will determine which documents to append with form submissions. The requirement is the question that I select has to be a multiple choice, a list, or checkbox. It has to be a question that will have a definitive answer. Um, I'm clicking select question, nothing is happening, nothing is popping up, so I have to just click this button refresh list. And once I click that, the two options come up. Do I want to put it under name or strand? Well, strand is already filled with information, name has nothing, so I'm going to pick name. 
and I'm going to save and populate the selected question. And what it's going to do is it's going to take all of the documents that were in this folder right here and it's going to populate them in my form. Now obviously ongoing math feedback is not necessary so I can go in here and I'm going to delete that one click done and here are my three choices for name. Click next. Now this is asking me what information do I want to send to my students. I want them to have timestamp so they know when the assessment happened. Uh, the strand could be helpful. What type of assessment it was in the comment. I don't think they need their name in the chart because it already says their name in the document. And I'm going to use separate vertical tables. There's three different options for the format of the uh, appended information and I prefer vertical tables. But I'll show you what the different options look like. Enable and it's done. That's it. So I'm going to view my form and I'm going to give let's say Tina let's say we did algebra and it was quiz number one feedback will be review how to solve equations by subtraction I click submit and if I pop back over here if I view my responses here I have my record of Tina's feedback I can see the feedback that I gave to Tina Kurtz the strand, the assessment, and her feedback. So this is very valuable to me. But for my student's sake, how is she going to get that feedback? I could print it out, I could staple it to her test, I could write it on her test, but all of that is extra work. What I wanted to do was streamline the process. If I now go into Tina's document that I pushed to her, she now has a record of her feedback right there. If I go ahead and fill out my form again, for Tina and patterning and algebra. Let's say we had an extra help session and I just wanted to send her some feedback. I can click submit and again it will automatically appear right underneath the timestamp extra help session and she has this running record of feedback. Now if I go back into my form I'll show you what the other versions look like. Separate bulleted lists I can just save the changes and now if I go back and fill this out again extra help session um, please come again tomorrow so there's her feedback if I pop back in here this one is a bulleted list and the third option rows in a single horizontal table for Tina um, work. This one looks like this. So you can really choose whichever version you want. I prefer this version, but that's Doc Appender. I think it's extremely helpful for my students. They love the fact that they can access their math feedback whenever they want now. It's much easier for them to actually refer back to their comments and reflect on them. Uh, when I push these documents to them, I make it comment only so they can highlight things and you know make a comment. Um, I will get these comments and I can continue the discussion with them. One thing I notice is that when you have to close the sidebar which I've just done and go back into it it will open it again you have to go through the steps again which is not a big deal it's just a few clicks and here the next button won't appear so you actually have to save it again nothing will change but then the next button appears that's normal and then you can get right back to step four and change the format of your appended information if you need to I was recently asked if you have to have Doctopus installed in order to run Docappender, and you don't. If you go back to the beginning step where it says target doc folder, I simply picked the folder that I had through Doctopus. If you want though, you could actually create a new folder, name it, but once I create this folder, now I would have to go into that folder that I created, which ends up on my My Drive page, and I would have to start creating individual documents for each of my students. So there's one document. I would make a copy of it.
and now I would simply rename it to another student in my class. And then once you've created all the documents for each individual student, you'd have to share each document with that student. It would take a lot of time, which is why Doctopus is a fantastic script that would just push all the documents right to them. But if you don't run Doctopus, it is absolutely possible to still use Docapender and push ongoing feedback to your students into one streamlined location. So in the end, you end up with all of your helpful feedback for yourself to generate a well-rounded report card comment for your student and help them continue to improve. But at the same time now, the student has access to all of their feedback in a streamlined location. I hope you found that helpful. Feel free to reach me on Twitter at Kim Polishuk or on G+. Thanks.